All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. Uh, today we are going to go over a ROM. This is going to be for the Nexus 6P. I think I've been neglecting the Nexus 6P <laughs> uh, for some time. I've actually owned this device for quite a while. Uh, there are, or there is building going on for this device right here. Um, definitely not anywhere near uh, the building that's going on for, say, the Nexus 6 or even the OnePlus One. Uh, even though this was the device that uh, that came right after the Nexus 6, this was their their answer to an update for the Nexus 6. Although I think with this device, and this is just my opinion, so those of you out there that own this device and think it's you know the best. Um, just my opinion, I think that this was a step backward from the Nexus 6. But, uh, with that being said, uh, it does have a lot of RAM. It has an 8-core um, uh, processor in it, which, if anybody has been following uh, any issues with the Nexus 6P, know that they had issues with that. A lot of people that are running this device today are running this device um, only on 4 cores, as opposed to all 8. Uh, that had to do with uh, heating, uh, motherboard issues, that fatal boot loop of death. I haven't experienced that with my device uh, so far, thank goodness, and um, I hope I don't. So let's go ahead and get on with this. All right, this ROM is called Static XOS, and I'm going to spell it for you because I'm probably um, not getting it right. It's S T A T I X O S. As a matter of fact, uh, this is the thread that is the name <laughs> of their uh, ROM. That is the, if it'll focus, the developer. Come on. Oops. No, no, no. There, there's a developer. All right. Uh, it is uh, Jertlock. J E R T L O C uh, is the uh, OP or uh, the owner of this thread and the one posting the links and all the information. So we're going to get into this. This is the only, at least custom, uh, Android Pie that I can find on XDA. Now when I say that, I mean on the actual Android development or um, their original Android development threads. I don't go all the way into XDA, into their general thread or their questions and answers thread. Um, I just don't want to. Uh, I've told you guys in the past that XDA, I've found, at least in my opinion, again, my opinion, uh, I'm not too happy with. I try to stay out of XDA as much as I can. Actually, all of my ROMs that I build, uh, I post on my Google Plus communities. Um, I quit posting them on XDA um, just because of my personal opinions, guys. And again, I'm not, don't take anything out of that. So let's get into this. This is Pi for the Nexus 6P. Now it was brought to be, or it was brought to my attention by one of my, uh, uh, one of the subscribers to this channel, um, and I thought I'd give it a, a check. Um, I was reading about this earlier. It wasn't like I didn't know this ROM didn't exist, but I was kind of worried about the way they were discussing how you had to flash, what you had to flash, and I was concerned with the whole. Um, it's called BLOD patch. Uh, but uh, from what I found out, you only have to flash that patch if you are only running four cores. And I'm not. I'm running eight cores. So all I had to do was basically um, flash the ROM, flash the gaps, then format my data partition, uh, which they recommend, and then boot it up. And I'm going to show you guys how to uh, flash this ROM. First thing I recommend you guys get a USB OTG Type-C external SD card reader or USB type whatever reader uh, it'll read micro SD cards, standard SD cards, a USB stick um, you're going to use this to make a backup when you go into Torp you're going to back up onto your USB drive that way you have a backup because after you format your data uh, you're not going to have no backups left but you will on here you also want to put everything pictures files that you download the ROM zip you know all that stuff put it on here. That way you can flash from this. Um, I recommend not formatting your drive until after, or not formatting your data until after you flash the ROM the gaps. Um, that way you still have the ROM on there. I also uh, did flash the um, uh, no force encrypt zip 
afterwards, but you really don't have to because the ROM is not for or encrypting. It's just by nature. Uh, all the custom ROMs in Pi, as of right now, do not force encrypt. So, uh, but that's the whole problem. If you are encrypted, you cannot flash this ROM. Guys, I'm going to say this again. If you are encrypted, if your device is encrypted, you cannot flash this ROM until you have decrypted your device. Your device. And I have videos out on that. I suggest you go look them up. Uh, follow those uh, instructions. Basically, I'm going to give it to you this easy. Back up your device. Everything you do not want to lose, put it on here or on your computer. Boot into Twerp. And we're going to show you that right now. I'm going to pause it while I boot into Twerp. All right, once you're into Twerp, the first thing you want to do is you want to create a backup. Okay? Pick what you want to backup. Uh, I always pick boot system and data. Uh, you guys don't have to. You can go with more. Uh, you can't back up your vendor image. Um, yeah, I, I suppose you could do a system image, but just back up your device. Do an Android backup. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to go to select storage, and then you want to put it on your, that USB OTG. Click OK. If you want to name it, click on there. Name it whatever you want. Hit the check mark. Then swipe the backup. Now, I'm not going to do it because I've already backed up, but I've just showed you guys how to do it, okay? That's, once your device is backed up, um, then what you want to do is you want to go to those files that you have. No, I'm sorry. The first thing you want to do is you want to wipe your device. So go ahead and go to um, you know your advanced wipe. You want to pick Delvic, Delvic, come on, Delvic system, data, cache. Uh, and then you want to swipe to confirm. I, don't worry about uh, the internal storage yet. Uh, once you flash the ROM, we're going to get to that. But just make sure that you wipe Delvic, system, data, and cache. Um, swipe to confirm, and then you're good to go. Your system is wiped. The next thing you want to do is install the ROM and the gaps. So we're going to get into that right now. Go to install. I think I have it on my uh, micro SD card, so I'm going to select storage. I am on USB OTG. Uh, I think I named it Nexus 6P. I made my own folders. Um, go to, let me see if I can find it. Okay, I think I moved it already. But anyways, you guys are going to have it on your external storage. Um, well, let me see here. Select storage internal. Okay, I'm going to pause this till I find it. All right, I found it. Uh, it was on my uh, USB Type C drive. Um, but again, guys, you are going to make your own folder. You're going to put it on uh, that external uh, drive. You could put it on your internal if you want. I highly recommend that you put it on a external drive. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to pick the um, static X or statics Angular build. You're going to add more zips. You're going to go with their simple gaps, mini, and then swipe to install. Now, I'm not going to do it because I already have it done and I already have it set up. Um, and I want to go over this ROM, so I'm not going to waste your time. But that's it. That's it. Okay, once it is done and you, and you get success, then what you want to get, do is go to wipe, format data. You want to type in YES. Hit that little blue check mark. Let it do its thing. Once it's done, reboot the system. You're done. It's that simple, guys. There is nothing else involved in flashing this ROM. Again, you want to wipe. Do your basic wipes. Uh, Delvic system data cache. Swipe to confirm that wipe. When it's done, you want to install. Go to the uh, folder that you have the zips in. You want to uh, flash the static. Angular first, then you want to flash the simple gaps second. If you are running four cores, you want to make sure that you flash that blood uh, fix. Also, guys, um, I failed to mention, I also flash their custom twerp. You have to be on their custom twerp version to run this. So, let me back up. The first thing you want to do before you wipe anything is you want to install custom image that recovery image and it is on this link I'll put in the description download that and what you do is click on that you want to click recovery uh, swipe to confirm flash uh, when it's done you want to go back 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 and then you want to reboot recovery let it reboot back into recovery before you do any wipes then once you do your wipes install the ROM the gaps once the ROM and the gaps are installed then you want to format your data partition. Once you have done, once you're done formatting your data partition, 
boot the system, let it go, don't touch it until it's done, and you guys are good to go. So that's it. Uh, I can't explain it any more than that uh, without actually doing it, and I'm not going to go uh, waste your time by me doing it. Um, I, I think I've explained it enough, so I'm going to go ahead and reboot to system and let you guys see what this is all about. All right, quickly, I just wanted to say before we get into the ROM, for those of you that want to run Magisk or Root, um, I highly suggest Magisk 17.1. Uh, do not flash it until after you've set up your ROM. So do everything that you're supposed to do. Um, go through your Google setup or whatever. Get your phone running. Once your phone is running, then reboot back into recovery uh, and just install ma your Magisk 7.1 zip. Uh, you can wipe cache and Delbuck again if you want, then reboot the system and you will have root, which is uh, Magisk and it will be uh, version 17.1. Um, that's about it for root. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this. All right, we're back into the system. I want to try to go through this as quickly as I can. Um, I changed nothing as far as colors go and how the ROM is set up. Uh, I did want to show you guys that, um, let me go into my camera, if I can find it again here real quick, or gallery, let me find gallery, hang on. Alright, I'm in the gallery, um, I wanted to do this because I wanted to show you guys what was, or what apps came installed. Uh, these are the apps that come installed on it, uh, when you boot up this is all that's going to be there. Um, so the only G apps that are included. Uh, in that little package that you flash is going to be your Google search, um, Play Store, uh, Voice, your basic apps. And that's it, all right? And I wanted to show you guys that because I know a lot of you guys really complain about before how, you know, I have all these apps on here because I test the ROM. I'm not going to put a video out for you guys to see this until I've tested it. And I know for sure that there's nothing wrong with this. And, you know, I'm not going to have you guys go flashing a ROM that just doesn't work. Uh, I can verify. Uh, I've made videos. Uh, I've also taken pictures with. I showed you the pictures I've taken. Well, no, I didn't. Um, but I did take pictures. Let me go ahead and pull up the gallery one more time because I want to show you the pictures I took with it. Uh, gallery, I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. Um, and, of course, I took them in the dark. But, I mean, it took the pictures. Fine. A little video. Just to let you guys see. See, it, it's working. Uh, camera and everything's working. Um, again, if something wasn't working, I, was, I would definitely tell you guys about it. Uh, data works, messaging works, everything works. I am with Verizon, so just to let you know that at least Verizon works on it. Uh, we're going to go into About Phone. Uh, as you guys can see, it's for the Nexus 6P. Um, let's see. Uh, Android version. 9.0 let me see if I can get that little Easter egg there you go see there you go pi and uh, there's your build number for you I am running the stock kernel or supplied kernel uh, I do have the developer options opened up these are the developer options OEM unlocking of course uh, your USB debugging um, you know I, I haven't found anything different in here uh, that isn't in any of the other ROMs so I'm not going to spend too much time in here I do know that under transition they're all set to one I put them at 0.5 and that is about it uh, I think what everybody wants to see is are there any custom features in this ROM and they are I think here it is under sparks so I was asked to do this video um, I'm not a big fan of ROMs that do not have a lot of custom features I'm guessing that this ROM is going to have custom features shortly but for now uh, these are it. Lock screen, you have your quick unlock. Under miscellaneous, there is nothing. Navigation, there is nothing. Under status bar, you have battery style. This does work. It came in portrait. I put on dotted circle. As you guys can see, uh, it's working. Also, show percentage. Uh, I have it as show beside icon. It is working, so at least that's working. Um, yeah, that was status bar. Uh, next up is system. Under system, you have your uh, enable advanced restart, uh, your power menu. They do have a lot of options on the power menu. Good on them for that. Uh, and then, of course, smart pixels if you guys want to run that. I don't. 
Uh, if you do, go for it. I have it enabled on battery saver only. And that is it for the custom settings. Again, hardly none. But guys, give them some time. They will get there. Uh, under display, standard you know, uh, stuff under your display. You can change your uh, font size. I did move my fonts to make them bigger. They recommend that you drop your display size. It actually comes uh, here on default. That's how your display size looks. I don't like it. Uh, I like it on large. Um, you can change your theme color. You can go with whatever. Uh, it's actually, I think, amber. Amber is what it comes as. Yeah, that's the color it's flashed as right there. And uh, I think you can change the device theme to dark or light if you want. Uh, I'd rather just keep it light. Um, I don't like that gray color. Uh, if I can't have black as my background for, you know, uh, for AMOLED screen, I'd rather just run it white and then theme it. Uh, by the way, guys, I have not had a chance to check some stratum with it. Uh, so I can't tell you whether or not Substratum works. Um, this is, again, sound. There is no uh, link or unlink your notification and ringtone. Uh, under advanced, again, here are all your settings uh, under advanced sound. Security and location, you guys can see if I scroll down all the way to encryption, um, the device is not encrypted. Again, you cannot be encrypted and flash this. I can't stress that enough, guys. I've gotten so many comments on uh, the Nexus 6 and the Pi ROMs for that about uh, my, my device won't boot. Um, Twerp's telling me I need a password, blah, blah, blah. And, guys, most of that is because the video wasn't watched completely um, or you didn't read the OP in the XDA thread. You cannot be encrypted and run Pi as of right now. Whenever they get an enforcing kernel, um, I'm guessing they'll be able to do that, but for right now, uh, you can't, um, you know, I, and I think it's a twerp thing. I don't know. Don't quote me on that, but that's about it. I can't think of anything else. It, well, if you go into system uh, and under gestures, you can go with the, uh, let me see, I want to show you guys, swipe up for the home button. If you guys want to do that, it'll get rid of the, uh, the three, the normal ones that we're used to under the nav bar, and if you swipe up once, that gives you recent, swipe up again, and that gives you your app drawer. Well, I guess that's if you're in the home position. Let's see. Up, 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 up. Let me try it again. I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm under Nova Launcher, so I swipe up in Nova Launcher, but if you swipe up once, you get that. Um, if you were running the stock launcher, if you swipe up again, it would open the app drawer. So, so that's it. Um, if you guys want to run with that, again, it's under gestures and system. Um, I can't think of anything else to tell you guys about this ROM. Again, it's early in the game. Uh, I imagine there are going to be a lot of other custom features added to this. So those of you out there with the Nexus 6B and wanted to run Pi, here it is. Uh, I'm guessing there are going to be a lot more ROMs out there running Pi. I'm going to try to do some more videos on the Nexus 6B because I do realize that a lot of you people out there own this device and are still running it. So uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I want to thank all of my subscribers. If you guys have happened to stumbled upon this video and are not subscribed to me, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit at least, once I hit that 2,000 subscriber mark, I am going to have another giveaway, guys. And if you guys saw my last giveaway, it was a really nice one. Uh, this one is going to be even better than that. Uh, so let's try to share my uh, videos. Let's try to get the su subscriber. Listen to me, I can't even talk. The subscriber count up. Um, and uh, I just want to thank you guys again, and I will see you on the next one.